<laughs> Day two. <laughs> Willing. Welcome to day two of Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway. Fasten your seatbelt and hang on because, well, this train may come derail just any moment. Today we hit Cold Iron Fork Road, Briar Ridge Road, and Igu Ridge Road. And, well, they hit back. Okay, this was the first time I've ever been in a Jeep that had to be winched. Bill's Jeep is very capable Jeep, uh, 37 inch tires, uh, I think 6 inch lift. It is no match for the ooey gooeyness of the mud on this hill that we had to come up. Not to mention the fact that we got a severe lean at the very top to the point that we had to winch. Dude, I was like, man, it was no way I could get out. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna get up here. We're gonna close this bitch up because this is more for all the energy anyway. Okay. All right, so we had to winch for the first time on Daniel Boone, and we had to winch up that. And it was just such an off-camber, muddy, nasty, freaking mess. We had to winch up that. Let me see if I can zoom it in. We're going. Yeah. This is going to be a do for him because his tires need to be replaced. Bills are in pretty good shape and you'll see how much they're mudded up. But you get to this one little part right here and it just pitches you in and couldn't get traction. And had to hook it to the tree strap right there and winch it the rest of the way. Hey, that's my first time being winched. Yeah, it is. And it works. We worked at, I mean, we were off center. How, was it like his day? Yeah, it was like I mean, we, we didn't have mob side coming off the ground, though, did we? No. Hey, Bill, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. He's not even in the Jeep yet. <laughs> He's getting his winch cable. Yeah. His downfall is going to be his tires. He's starting his ascent. He's coming down. Hey, 
There it went. Skinny pedal, skinny pedal. Oh. Go get his cable. <laughs> Go get his cable. <laughs> yeah, he he ain't gonna be able to make that up. I knew he was uh -uh. with that ball tire. So Bill, the other Bill, um we're gonna have to probably winch him from two different trees. This first one here to that one. I mean to that one. And then we get him up to a certain point we'll have to winch him from this tree up. So that's where we are. Okay, update. So Bill's going to tie his sheep off to the tree and winch him up because his winch is overheating and shutting off. So we have that. <laughs> Now, Bill's got his Jeep anchored to this tree over here. And He's on his diff. He's almost up. Now the hardest part's gonna be right here, but it looks like to me he's sitting on the diff too. So, I don't know about that. That may be a, another problem that it hangs up a little bit, but we'll see. At least it's not raining and stupid hot right now.
barbed wire right here. Yeah, I know. I saw that. You're on level ground right there. Well, <laughs> this level is the ground's going to be on a hill. <laughs> The rock lights are on. Light. Something's up, dude. Are Okay, so we're at Advanced Auto Parts because that happened. You can see there's two vice grips holding the brake line shut because on that heel coming up, we must have rubbed it on the tire and it broke it. So we're trying to find brake line right now. I'm checking other auto parts stores nearby to see, if, you know, what's going on. But we're trying to get it fixed. It could be worse. I mean, it's just brake line. It could be a whole break or something, but uh, it, see that tape right there? That's where it broke. So we'll see what we can do. It's all we can do. Go back and hit the trails. He went like this. All right. So brakes are fixed. Woo! So we're gonna go eat lunch and I don't know. Decide what we're gonna do from there. Where to go next? Trail riding. Trail riding. But. It is what it is. Okay, that was pretty gnarly. We're on Wayne Benson. We're going down this way. And we just came up on another hill that was almost as bad as the one we did this morning. Um, I'm hoping the other Bill, not Bill, can make it up. Because, I mean, we, we were spinning a little bit, but this thing conquered it. But I uh, can't believe we had a broken brake line earlier, and now we're doing this again. But that's part of it, guys. Okay, problem number three for the day is now Bill, the other Bill, has, sounds like a rock stuck in his rotor. But I mean, it sounds horrible. <laughs> so they're trying to dig it out if they can. It's like it's between the, the backing plate and the rotor itself. It's not affecting how it stops, but it's there's a rock in there. We just came up through some nasty stuff, so it's high probability caught one. Man, the fun and off-roading. <laughs> it's been I mean it's been a good day. We've had a great time.
pretty cool area. Really cool area. go home time day three we're headed home bill's jeep's right there the other bill i'm in bill's jeep and we're tired we wheeled hard we've had to work for it all weekend brake line on this jeep had to pull a wheel off of that jeep and get a rock out of the rotor so we're ready to go Head home. All right, guys, as the battery's about to die, we have concluded. Three days, two nights, Daniel Boone National Forest, or Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway with two Jeeps. Had a couple of issues, fixed and moved on. That's the name of the game. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please share, please like, please subscribe. There's so many of you that are not subscribed yet that I would love to have you subscribe. I would love everybody watching the video, sharing the videos, because we are so close to my goal, and I mean, I want to hit that goal. So, I appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. Be prepared.